Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to be covering the basics of Clan Citadels. So hopefully going through everything that you'll need to know to get started. So we're at the Clan Camp here, just south of Bellador. Uh, if it's your first time coming here, you'll want to teleport to Port Sarum and then run over. Once you're here, you can head over to the Scribe and claim your Vexillum. And once you've got that, the next time you need to get here, you can right click and teleport. Choose Falador. And it will bring you straight here. There's also a place function. Uh, you can do this to place it on the ground as advertisement for your clan. I can't do it here to show you, but yeah, just play with it. The next thing is to get the cloak from the captain of the guard. So there's a clan cloak. Uh, it's just a decoration piece for your clan after you've capped three times in a row so three weeks of doing what we show in the video now you can claim a fealty reward in a skill of your choice uh, it'll be a small lamp's worth of xp and once you've claimed it you can also find it in your wardrobe so you can apply that so it'll show up however the owner has customized it for the clan uh, the three stars are the fealty so once you've got the three stars you can claim that field reward that we just talked about. And I think that's it for outside, so we'll head inside. Right click the teleport option, quick teleport. So once you're inside the Citadel, your mini games tab should have opened automatically. It will display your resource cap. So that's how many resources you've gathered compared to how many you can gather. Underneath that you'll have little tabs for each of the skill plots and they will display the player total gathered and clan total gathered and this is all for that week next up citadel information found where the world map usually is just click that to open it up on top of this interface you'll have the time to the next build so this is when the citadel will upgrade and use resources that have been gathered to the right of that you've got the visitor count so this is how many people that have visited the citadel this week not necessarily finished their cap but they've just came in and gone out at least to count as a visit under that we've got the citadel map so you can use this to teleport around to each of the different skill plots instantly on the left of that we've just got a bit of customization for the clan owner or people that have permission to adjust the way that the citadel looks day and night cycle and different layouts Next up we have the buildings interface and again this is for the owner or people that have permission to perform upgrades or downgrades and you just click on the one that you want to upgrade, click on the upgrade and you can perform it from there, it shows you how many resources you need, obviously we've already marked it to be upgraded because we're moving for the next tier at the moment. Next tab is the customization tab much the same as the last one but it's just for cosmetics so owners and people with permission can change the decoration features of the citadel next we have the resource tab so this is the important one you need to look at you can hover through and see all the resources that you can gather and how many you need so we'll just take a quick look at logs here when you hover over it you have the little pop-up window and this shows the total upkeep, upgrades, upgrades, part paid and surplus. So we'll just go through them quickly. So the total is the amount that's been gathered for that week. Then you've got upkeep. So that's how many you need of that resource to maintain the Citadel the way that it is along with the five visits. Underneath that you've got upgrades. So that's just the total amount for the upgrades that are marked at the moment. Next is upgrades part paid, so that's how much has already been paid forward towards the upgrade from previous weeks. And then surplus at the bottom. So when the surplus is in a negative, that means that you need to gather those resources. So at the moment we need 86,188 logs. So obviously that's not really possible to do in a single week, so we need to make sure that we get all of our upkeep done and get enough visits to allow the upgrades so you need five visits to allow upkeep, which is to maintain the citadel. And then 
at my current tier tier 6 at the moment we need 25 visits per week to allow for upgrades if we don't meet that 25 visits we'll lose all the resources except for the upkeep it will still go through and that's basically it for that next tab is the job list interface so it's basically just what we talked about so we've got the upkeep tab opens first and you can see all the resources you need for upkeep per building per resource to the right of that we've got the upgrade jobs so any buildings you've got marked to be upgrade will appear here and same as before it will show you everything that you still need and what you've already gathered and then right to the left we've got downgrade not really sure why you need to but it's there and that's about it for the interface so once you've familiarized yourself there and worked out what resources you need together it's time to go cat but just before you get into that you need to head over to the town square head over to this stone here and attune it so as an iron man i can only get this single bonus so 50 percent gathering rate within the citadel if you're a normal account you'll have an option between XP and gather rate I suggest using the gather rate while you're in the citadel and then change it to XP before you leave because the XP buff applies everywhere in RuneScape not just in the citadel so it's a good thing to have so once you got that on you can head over to the skill plots and start gathering so I'll just teleport around to each of the plots to show you quickly so this is a wood cutting plot you just gather it, it's a raw resource, you don't need to refine it or do anything. You basically just chop the roots there. Next one is the mine. So it's got stone, which is a raw resource, you don't need to refine it, you just gather it. And then above that we've got precious ore, and then on the other side there is regular ore. Um, and the precious and regular ore need to be refined at the furnace. We'll just head over to the kiln first. So the kiln here is used to make charcoal. And the charcoal is used to power the furnace. So the furnace over here requires charcoal and the ores to make bars. The kiln, however, doesn't require wood. So when you make charcoal, you don't actually burn wood. But when you make bars, you burn the charcoal, if that makes sense. Okay. Next, we'll head over to the obelisk skill spot. So basically, this is a summoning one. Uh, it's got a fairly low cap, and I think you can only gather 200 from it. And it basically makes minions that help gather other resources. I tend not to worry about it. I don't really understand what it does but it's there next up is the loom so this plot makes cloth and it's a raw resource you don't have to do anything else with it to get that made and then we've got the barbecue over here so basically you make rations with that and it's also a raw resource you don't need to refine it or do anything with it after that only bars so the bars here require the charcoal and the ores from the mining plot and yeah I think that's about all there is that I need to explain so once you've finished gathering and you've hit your resource cap and you've gathered as much as you can I think it'll be a thousand for the first year it's going to depend on the level of your citadel but once you finish capping you can head over to the keep here just pop inside through the door around the corner on the left here you can right click the quartermaster and claim xp obviously i can't do it at the moment to show you but a little interface will pop up and you'll claim bonus xp for one of the skill plots that we just went through so whatever skill plot that your citadel has, you can claim bonus XP in it. And yeah, I think that's 
about all I've got. Uh, if you've got any questions or if there's something that I left out, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, hopefully this in, uh, helped someone and yeah, see you in the next one.